Wagner Airlines is a large airline company that operates flights to all major tourist destinations and has a huge IT environment to support their business. They use CA Spectrum to monitor and manage various devices on the network. Their network environment have thousands of devices. These devices include routers, hubs, and switches. Each device has its own configuration that specifies how a device operates and how it is customized from other network devices. The network administrators of Vunair Airlines need to manage this complex infrastructure, which includes maintaining these business-critical devices. They need to keep track of all the devices, how they are all configured and making sure that configurations are accurate. Wondering how they do that? They use the CA Spectrum Network Configuration Manager that allows them to capture, modify, load, and verify configurations for thousands of multi-vendor devices. In addition, it allows them to track all changes, schedule automatic captures, create policies to monitor content, load firmware and detect performance problems. Let us view a quick demonstration that highlights the capabilities of Network Configuration Manager. Network Configuration Manager allows you to manually capture device configurations through CA Spectrum one-click console. To capture the configuration, open the one-click console. Under the Explorer tab, expand the Configuration Manager node and click the required device family. Then, from the Contents pane, click the List tab. Observe the associated devices are displayed. Select the required device from the list and click the Host Configuration tab. From here you can create a bulk capture task or an on-demand capture. The Host Configuration table displays the previous captured host configuration details. Click the Capture Configuration icon to capture the current configuration of the selected device. Observe a new row is added in the Host Configuration table. It displays the captured details. Now, click the Changes hyperlink, to view the changes. The Configuration Differences dialog is displayed. Here you can compare the changes made in the configuration by using the Next and Previous buttons. The highlighted text indicates the change. Green, these lines were added. Red, these lines have been removed. Blue, these lines have changed. Gray, these lines are irrelevant. Irrelevant changes are the lines that match the comparison mask. Click the close button to close the dialog. Now, select the captured configuration from the host configuration table and click the upload icon. The upload configuration dialog is displayed. Here, you can edit the existing configuration. Select the also save to startup checkbox to write this configuration to the startup configuration of the device. During reboot, the configuration file is loaded into the device. Note, you can use the open button to import a previously exported configuration file. In addition, you can save and export this configuration file in TXT or HTML format. For now, let's click the upload button. Message confirms the successful upload. Click the OK button. This indicates that the modified configuration is uploaded in the device. We will now verify if the configuration is uploaded. On the Contents pane, select the device from the List tab. Right-click on the device and select the Telnet option from the pop-up menu. The Telnet console is displayed. Enter the username and password. Next, the device name prompt is displayed. Enter the super user credentials to log into the device. After successful log into the device, type in the show run command and then press enter. This displays the current configuration of the device. Scroll through the configuration details by pressing enter. Observe the change is reflected in this configuration. Now close the console. Next, let's see how to create an upload task. Upload task allows to merge new content into the running configurations of one or more selected devices. You can also create an automatic upload task by scheduling. Select a device family, global collection, or device from a search result or container in the Explorer tab. Then, click the Create NCM Task icon and select the Upload Task option from the drop-down menu. 
the Upload Task dialog is displayed. Click the Continue button. The Create NCM Task dialog is displayed. Click the Edit button. The Edit Upload Content dialog is displayed. Enter the content that you want to merge and upload in the device configuration and click the OK button. You can select the reusable task checkbox to make the task reusable. Additionally, you can select the commit to startup checkbox to copy the configuration to the startup configuration. Let us skip this for now. You can also select the alarm device on failure checkbox to generate an alarm and notify if the task fails. Once this is selected, the severity levels, critical, major, and minor, are enabled. Select the required severity level and click the save button. The task save dialog is displayed. Click the upload button. The upload task results screen confirms successful upload. Click the close button. Now that we have completed the upload task, we need to capture the configuration changes into Spectrum. From the component details pane, select the configuration and click the capture configuration icon to reflect the changes in Spectrum. Let's see how we can capture configurations of multiple or all devices using the sync task option. Press and hold the shift key and then click the required or all devices from the list. From the Contents Panel Toolbar, click the Create NCM Task icon and select the Sync Task option. The Select Devices for Sync Task dialog is displayed. If you want to generate an alarm for devices where the captured configuration differs from its startup configuration, then select this checkbox. Specify the severity levels and click the Run Sync Task Now button. The Sync Task Results screen is displayed stating the Sync Task succeeded. In this way you can capture a configuration, modify, and upload the configuration into the device configuration. Further, you can capture the modified configuration in CA Spectrum. You can now click the close button. We can now see these configuration changes in the locator tab. Click the locator tab. This tab allows user to find the devices that are supported by NCM, device configurations that are already captured, and number of configurations captured for devices. Expand the Network Configuration Manager subview and then double-click the Configuration Changes During Period option. The search dialog is displayed. Change the duration for which you want to see the configuration changes by using date and time fields. Click the OK button. These are the devices that have undergone configuration changes. Double-click the Recent Configuration Changes option to view the recent configuration changes by providing date and time. The search dialog is displayed. Change the date and time as required, and then click the OK button. These are the devices that have undergone configuration changes. Select a device family from Device Families in the Explorer tab, and then select the Information tab in the Contents panel. The device family settings are displayed. Expand the device configuration transfer settings subview to define communication mode configuration. To set the default communication mode for the selected device family, click set. Select the default communication mode from the drop down. Now, scroll down the page and expand the device firmware transfer settings subview to transfer the firmware image from the server to the device. The Firmware Transfer options are displayed. Click Set to modify the Firmware Image Transfer Protocol as required. Select the required protocol from the drop-down. This enables to upload the latest firmware to the selected device from the TFTP server. To learn more about CA Spectrum, please visit the CA Education website.